at pokes points, focus pointing. What up, search fam? Sharday here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is Sharday. I am out here curating and co-creating a cool ass life. My information is downstairs in the description. You know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with the homies, become my friend, all of the things. If you are a new or OG subscriber, thank you so much for being a part of my internet family and just continuing to rock with the girl as we do the things. Now, today I have a gear, I don't wanna call it a review because I'm not gonna talk about any of like sort of the technical things because there are so many places to find that that sort of information and I'm more concerned with the practical usage and like how it helps to create cool things. Either way, a few months ago I'll say, oh man, I guess it was in the summer? Um, I've, had, I've probably had this for like six months now but I picked up the Fujifilm X100F. I'll tell you why I got this. I shoot with a Sony full frame cam camera. Y'all know that. That's what I do most of my photography work with. And I went into the Sony system because it is mirrorless and lighter for when I'm traveling. However, comma, my Sony camera is not something I would pick up just on a normal day to take around with me to just be creative and shoot photos. And what I wanted to do more is get back to my street photography roots but also just like have something that traveled a little bit better that would make me want to pick it up and use it far more often that's where the fuji x100 f comes in so i bought this used i think i got it on facebook marketplace for like 500 bucks i think it still retails for close to a thousand dollars i'll put the price somewhere over here. It is a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, CMOS sensor, and it is, you know, look at it. It's it's a vibe. That's what I'm going to say first is it is a vibe. Now, I initially thought about whether it could be used as, you know, sort of a travel camera of which I can vlog with and like do the things. If you had noticed, there are a couple of my vlogs that I use the X100F for. I'll link them upstairs in an info card. And I will say about the video capabilities, <laughs> one, the Fuji X100F does not have IBIS. So it does not have in-body stabilization, which means that if you're walking with it, it gets the shakes so definitely not good for vlogging the video though and that's because of food the fuji color science the videos are pretty cool like they, they're pretty nice you can do 1080p so if i wanted to do like a little short cinematic film i could do it and it would be very nice but as far as like my vlogging needs not so much especially because it hunts in and out um and I would, within three seconds, be out of focus and then back in focus. So that's a little bit of a bother. So we definitely cannot use this for any heavy lifting when it comes to video. But that's not why we bought it. I bought the Fuji X100F so I would want to pick it up and take pictures when I'm just out. This is the camera that I almost always toss in my bag. And as you can see, like it is unobtrusive right um not only does it look cool because it harkens back to you know rangefinder film cameras but it's small like even for someone like me who has pretty small hands like it is small it doesn't take up much space when you have it on people don't get nervous that you're taking pictures with it and that i do love other things that i really like about it is that it has analog dials which is tactily like just really nice it is one of those things that makes me slow down a little bit and to consider a little more when I pick up 
my camera. I actually picked it up this morning and took because I was up working at like six in the morning like a crazy person. And I saw the sun come up and it was beautiful outside of my window. So immediately I grabbed my Fuji, went to the balcony and take, took this photo. And it was really nice to not have to fiddle with it too much. So, and that's one of the things that I really appreciate is not like it's fiddly in some respects, but when it comes to just like turning on the camera, turning a dial and maybe turning the ISO and then taking a picture in the moment, that's pretty great. Like I really appreciate that. Now the screen, it does have a screen on the back. It doesn't articulate at all, which at least with my Sony camera, it articulates a little bit, but I find that that doesn't bother me too much because, you know, we're going for simplicity here. It has the trackpad on the back, which is used to like pick your focus points and things like that, which is cool. Of course, the other thing that really made the Fuji X100F super attractive to me is the Fuji Color Science and the film simulations, which are dope. My favorite film simulation is the classic Chrome. I just like that it's kind of soft and it's different, especially because I'm usually either shooting myself or people like me who have melanated skin tones. And I think that one for me and sort of my editing preferences gives me a nice look on skin tones. So but I also I'm still learning the Fuji system because you're talking to someone who started with Canon and has migrated to Sony and Sony is just like what I use for most of my photography work and then now <laughs> migrating to Fujifilm for sort of my recreational personal things. The X100F has a fixed lens 23 millimeters which is the equivalent of a 35 millimeter which is great for street photography but also I've taken portraits with it. When I was at the photo cookout Besides my Olympus film camera, this is what I brought and I took most of my pictures and I was very happy with the pictures that I was able to take and I actually edited them for the first time instead of just using them straight out of camera and that was a great experience. So I personally think that having a camera that makes you want to pick it up is important, which is why I bought this. Is it the most capable? No. But it does push me to be creative, it pushes me to learn the system, and it makes me want to take pictures. One of the other things, really cool things, is that it has a built-in ND filter that is great when it's really sunny because then you don't have to worry about ND filters, it's already there, that's really convenient. The rangefinder it has optical as well as electronic viewfinder capabilities which is also very cool for somebody who has astigmatism it sometimes you just want to know what you're getting sometimes you want to know is the focus uh, focus points focus pointing so you know it has just some really cool features that if you want to be inspired to create something cool this is the thing to do and because i'm the type of person that i carry either like a purse or a tote bag it doesn't take up that much extra space for me to have it with me at all times like I said this is not the most technical year review but I don't think that that is my thing my thing is telling you like what I use to help me create cool things and to sort of steer you towards things that I think are you know helpful for creating a gear kit especially if you're on a budget 500 bucks to sort of get you in a place where you're picking up a camera and taking pictures a lot and technically you could you know do a little video with it you know take a portrait or two you know you have a lens that goes down to f2 so you can get a little bokeh in that thing if you wanted it it really checks the boxes for me to be honest I plan to keep it as long as I can but I do I am already starting to think about do I want something a little bit more capable for when I'm traveling? As always, friends, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend about the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.